one of the few heavier track vehicles on display at IDEX this year as this BA Systems M2A3 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle of the US Army. This has been the standard IFV of the Army for many years and as time goes on it's had to be upgraded to take into account the threat changes and the new technologies that is involved. As you can see this is the, what they call the 2A3 but it retains the standard 25mm M242 chain gun from a orbital ATK. It's got a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and we look to the left of the turret that is the commander's independent thermal viewer. So what he can do, he can search for targets and once confirmed with Hoskull hand over to the gunner who actually uh, then engaged the targets. On the other side of the turret are two launchers, a twin launcher for the Raytheon tow missile system which is a maximum range of almost 4,000 kilometres. This particular vehicle has got a hull of all welded aluminium armour to which an oblique layer of passive armour which is quite thick is fitted here and if you look on the side there you can see the mounting points and that is for explosive reactive armour and that is fitted to the hull and the turret of the Bradley to improve its survivability against rocket propelled grenades. That ERA has passed through a stringent lot of tests and is very safe, so it's not likely to go off in the vicinity of dismounts. But it does provide the vehicle with a significant increase in survivability against weapons with a high explosive anti-tank weapon warhead such as missiles and the rocket propelled grenades. Um, that particular armour is normally kept locked up in peacetime because there is no point in having it on the vehicle but if you deploy on operations you fit the armour. When the Bradley original entered service it was fitted with a flotation screen to enable it to cross rivers and streams but really the weight of the vehicle has increased to such a high level that that is now removed so the vehicle does not have any amphibious capability. In addition to being used by the US Army it is also being used by Saudi Arabia. And another development recently is the US Army still has about 6,000 M113 armoured personnel carriers as well as being used for the command post, medical evacuation and the mortar carrying role. Some surplus Bradleys are going to be re-rolled to the armoured multi-purpose vehicle and that will be taken to Bradley, taking the turret off, reconfigure it for its special role. So the support roles for the uh, infantry regiments, we have the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, the command post, the ambulance, the evacuation vehicle and um, the water carriers will all have a similar hull so they have a similar level of survivability and cross-country mobility.